Welcome to another episode of how to make your macro images awesome. Here I'm going to talk about the Venus Lawa 2X macro lens. This macro lens is no ordinary macro lens. In fact, it allows you to magnify your subjects twice the size that they would appear on the sensor compared to a one-to-one -one macro lens. Basically, it magnifies your images a lot. However, I was actually shooting with this lens outside, just taking pictures of insects and spiders, and I found something kind of strange with the with the apertures I was choosing. So I was shooting at, you know, like tiny apertures to get a lot of depth of field, like f5.6 and f8 and f11. And I noticed that my pictures weren't coming out very great, so I did some tests. And so I'd like to share those results with you today. Okay, so testing methodology. I took a picture of my shirt and I used a flash with the camera mounted on a tripod. Now the flash, the off-camera flash I was using has a very short duration, about one over one thousandth of a second, so that kind of eliminates motion blur. And I also used a fairly sturdy tripod. So I think my testing methodology was pretty good. I took the uh, image of my shirt a little off axis, so at least some part of the image would be in focus. And I tried to look at the entirety of each image and compare the different aperture values. So uh, let's take a look at the results. So let's look at f2.8 versus f4. Now, I did notice that the image sharpened a little bit at f4, but this lens is actually very good at f2.8 wide open. So I would not hesitate to shoot this lens wide open or at f2.8 if you're happen to not mind the depth of field, because the depth of field at f2.8 can be really shallow, but f4 seems to be like a magic aperture with this lens. Now let's compare f4 to f5.6. Now this comparison is very interesting because I noticed that the image got a little softer at f5.6. It's not noticeable and I would totally be happy with using f5.6 in the field. And I, I honestly think f5.6 is a good aperture because it gives you a lot of depth of field compared to like f2.8 and it's not that much different than f4. But the interesting comparison is between f5.6 and f8. Here you'll notice in this image that the f8 image is noticeably softer than f5.6. In fact, the f8 image is quite horrible. And, and that's because basically, or at least part of the reason, is that your true aperture value when you're shooting at such high magnifications actually changes. That's why you need so much light at high magnification. So when you're shooting at f8, with this lens at 2x magnification, it's sort of like you're shooting at f24 because you're like multiplying your aperture by 3. I also did a test at f11, and f11 was really bad. So you can see that f11 was even worse than f8, but f8 was still pretty bad. So my sort of feeling about this is that f8 is like you have your favorite meal, you're about to eat it, and an alien race comes and teleports it into your stomach. And f11 is that situation, but the meal is poisoned. And I want to say this is not just about tests and, you know, random pixel peeping, because I actually started this test because I noticed my images in the field at f8 and above just weren't very good. They needed a lot of sharpening. Some of them could still be used, but I just wasn't happy with them. And I was just wondering how much of a difference moving from f8 and opening up the lens to f5.6 would make. And it turns out that it actually makes quite a difference. So the next day I actually went out and shot some real-world images at f5.6 and I was much happier with them. So my overall recommendation for this lens, the Venus Lawa 2x macro lens for micro four thirds cameras, is to shoot at no smaller than f5.6. And f4 is actually the sweet spot, so if you can shoot at f4, it seems like that's a really good aperture to use. Anything between f2.8 and f5.6 are good. and that will make your images a lot better compared to if you try and stop down a lot. So I hope that helps you shoot at ultra macro ranges, and I wish you luck with your photography.